Good day to you. It is I, the 56, again. And what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be making a tier list for the BCX patch. Um, I have some interesting thoughts on what I think the current status of balance is. I actually think that the game is in a more balanced state than it's ever been in, with a couple of small exceptions. But um, yeah, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Uh, we'll, we'll get right into it. First things first, I deleted most of the rows and renamed these two rows to what I think they should be. Um, and I added the first two weapons, which I believe are Gauntlets and Scythe. So for Gauntlets and Scythe, I think both of them have pretty strong neutral game right now. Gauntlets have some pretty ridiculous offstage and Scythe also has pretty ridiculous offstage. I think maybe in contest with Hammer, these two have the best offstage in the game. Um, and with moves like Scythe Dare and Nair and like Gauntlet's Nair and, and Side Air and stuff like that, you can just drag people off stage with these weapons and you you can just completely capitalize. Like if you have a weapon like Greatsword or or like some sometimes Lance and Bow as well, and you get dragged off stage by one of these weapons, especially if you have a low speed character, the chance of you getting back is just so low. Um, I actually think these two are equal. I am not going to say one is better than the other, but I just ordered them this way. But these two are unordered. Up next, I added sword, bow, and orb. These are also unordered. I think that these three are all in a very equal spot right now. Oh, something I neglected to mention is these two weapons, gauntlets and scythe, also have ridiculous weapon throw potential for for a combo game for for combo starters for closing gaps stuff like that these two can get insane damage off of weapon throws especially scythe but gauntlets can too and gauntlets can kill easily off a weapon throw with side light recovery which scythe can't do uh, if they don't have a dodge so i think that having access to that makes a weapon so much better in the current meta even though they nerfed weapon throws recently um these two just have crazy weapon throws and so does sword actually but I feel like with sword not having the same offstage as these two it's just maybe a little bit lower um, but I think it's on equal grounds with these other two weapons right here but sword has access to weapon throws it has really strong neutral game it's it can kill for you it has really good advantage state and disadvantage state there's really nothing wrong with sword and the same can be said about these two I think bow has really good pressure universally just always with end light and and like dash jump nair being a thing and and recovery being huge um d light makes gives you grounded pressure um it makes it so the opponent has to respect your down light um it's good at catching landings too orb is orb i mean it has true combos it has string potential it has really good advantage state Nair, Side Light, Side Air, D Light are all insane moves. Um, I, I think that Orb belongs among the best weapons. Um, but I'm gonna put it, I put it with, lump it in with these two instead of with these two. I think that it's a little bit outshined by these two because its weapon throw is not as good and its offstage is not as good as these two weapons up here. Next, I think is Katars. Katars are in a, a good spot, I think. Um, they, they've got good neutral game they've got uh, a gimmick that allows you to carry on a string for an entire stock if you catch their dodge multiple times because most of the string tools that Katars has have has have has grammar are no force tools so what that means essentially is if you catch someone's dodge with Katars then you're gonna get a string of moves but you don't necessarily have to end that string if you read their dodge properly again. Unlike a weapon like Scythe, where let's say you get at low HP, you get on a dodge, end light, nair, sair, nair, sair. If you do end light, nair at high HP, they're going to go too far for you to get a side air, as opposed to Katars, where if you read someone's dodge in with a chase dodge down air, something like that, that's not going to push them away. And then you can do side light, D light, dare, and then you can just reset and keep doing it. So Katars have that gimmick that almost no other weapon has, but they do struggle to kill a little bit. 
Um, so I think that they are a little bit below these weapons, and their weapon throw is not very good too. Although their offstage is insane. Don't go offstage against Katars. Up next, we got five different weapons that I am all lumping together. I think that these five weapons here are very equal. I think all of them are very strong right now. I think that each one has a good reason to be in S plus tier. I definitely think that a good spear player will do good into a good scythe player. I don't think that scythe is just so much better that it will destroy a spear by any means. Hence why I think this game is crazy balanced right now. I just a lot of people are complaining about oh my god bow oh my god gauntlets scythe you know it's funny i hear complaints about almost every weapon and that i think that's a, a sign of good balance i hear people complain about greatsword guns spear lance katars bow scythe i complain about sword i hate that weapon but people always complain about almost all the weapons here like to me that seems like a pretty good sign maybe all of these weapons need to be nerfed so that they're not as annoying but balance wise I think that's pretty good but anyway Lance really strong aerial kit pretty hard to punish a lot of the time um, it's you're you're on a rocket ship it's very it's a unique weapon and also is annoying to fight which can add to how difficult it is to beat axe um, really good grounded game. Sidelight Nair is an insane punish. You have down air and nair. You have basically 360 degree coverage along with ground pound. Um, you can get pretty good kills with side air if you master how to use that move. D light I think is absurd. It's so fast and so is end light. I don't know. I think X is just really solid and a lot of people think it's low tier for some reason. I disagree. Spear. Two moves on spear I think are just unbelievably good right now and I think that's neutral air and recovery um, it also has a really gimmicky ground pound that's um, like bound to work eventually <laughs> it's it's huge and if someone's on the wall it's just really hard to avoid um, I also think that dare is really good for edge guarding and I think that if you have a high speed character like Hattori I hate Hattori um, you can really catch people off guard with a high speed side air. Um, it'll reach a lot further than you think. Blaster is really good zoning weapon, um, really safe down air, good range on all sides, hard to hard to edge guard because uh, they have a neutral air that hits has high priority and hits directly above you. Grounded game is pretty good. You have D-Light Recovery. D-Light's a pretty solid move, I think, because it, it's stacked as well as just in front of the user. And yeah, I, I mean, N-Light is not that good of a move, but Side-Light is, I guess. I, I think it belongs in S+. Greatsword is like Mash Hala, I think. Like, a lot of weapons on this list so far, like Katars, Bow, Sword... You have some mashing capabilities, but I think Greatsword is just like such a crazy mashing weapon right now. It's like when you whiff, it's almost like it's no problem because it's it's so safe. So a lot of what people will do is they will whiff in neutral, just throw a move out and see what the opponent does knowing it's going to miss. And then we'll try to, and then we'll like do something else to to cover themselves or or just wait because they have the ability to spot dodge immediately after to dodge an opponent's move. I think Greatsword's gimmick of being able to whiff in neutral in order to play and win neutral is unique. I think it's dumb, but I think it belongs in S plus because of it. Last but not least, we have S tier, cannon and hammer. I don't think either of these weapons are bad. I think they are outshined by the rest, and I think that's why people say that they are lesser good weapons. Um, I think the, both of these weapons have really good tools. I think Cannon has pretty crazy string potential. Cannon Ground Pound is just an abomination, and Down Air is huge. And it has a kill combo, D Light and Air, very solid. I also think Hammer might be a little bit below cannon but still in s tier i'm not gonna put these two together i think that they are separate but 
Hammer still has really strong moves with Stomp. It's not as good as it used to be, but it's still quite fast. You have a bunch of true combos. Hammer will kill for you when you need it. Um, down air has a lot of lot more active frames than it looks like. It's very solid, and I think that people sleep on Hammer, but I can see why. There's there's a very specific scenario where if you hit down light on Hammer in a specific spot, you won't be able to, to pick up any true combos out of it. Um, so if you do stomp, you won't be able to do down air or side air, unless you're like Cassidy or something. Then you can do a true combo of D-Light and Sig, but um, because of that inconsistency of not being able to follow up your main combo tool at a certain spot in your main combo tool starter, I think it's uh, definitely at the bottom. I think that inconsistency makes it a really, puts it in a pretty tough spot when you have all of these other ridiculous and crazy good weapons. Anyway, I think that's going to do it. Um, I think that this is, that going into BCX, apart from these two weapons, I think we're going to see a lot of weapon diversity. And um, I think it's going to be a really, really enjoyable BCX. I'm really excited for it. And yeah, I, I any of you, if you're going, let me know to leave a comment if you're if you're going I definitely want to meet up with as many people as I can I think it'll be super fun to to meet everybody I've been super excited for BCX for so long now and it's just around the corner it's less than a month away so yeah be sure to tell me if you plan to go anyway that's gonna do it for now thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys later see ya